Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to determine the equation of a quadratic function given its roots. So let's take a look at an example. So let's say that I know that a quadratic function uh, has roots at uh, x equals 4 and x equals negative 5, right? So those are basically the x-intercepts essentially, okay? Uh, and let's also say that I know that it passes through the point to negative 42. So I've got two roots and I have a point that this uh, particular quadratic function passes through. So our goal is to come up with the equation. So uh, step one here. So step one is going to be to do the following. We're going to find the equation of the family, okay, the family. Now, what do I mean by family? Well, the idea is, again, I know that it passes through, or it has the roots x equals 4 and x equals negative 5. I know it's got those roots. But there could be all sorts of different quadratic functions that have those roots, right? I could have ones that open up and pass through at x equals 4 and x equals negative 5. I could have ones that open down. I could have skinny ones. I could have fat ones, right? I have a whole bunch of possibilities that I could potentially have for parabolas that have roots of x equals 4 and x equals negative 5, right? And since they all share the same roots, x equals 4 and x equals negative 5, uh, we call them a family of quadratic functions, okay? So I'm going to find the equation of the family first. Now, to do that, well, we need to think back to factored form of a quadratic function. So remember that factored form looks like the following. So we get y equals a times x minus r times x minus s. And remember that r and s are the values of our roots, okay? So that is factored form. So factored form has got a couple things. It's got an a value, right, or a leading coefficient, it's got, and it's got the two roots. It's got the two roots inside the factors. So we know the roots, right? So I'm going to place those roots inside of my factors like so. So we're going to have y equals a. Now, since our first root is x equals 4, that means I'm going to have x minus 4 as a root or as a factor. And since my second uh, root is x equals negative 5, I'm going to place that in, and I'm going to get x plus 5. Because think about it, right? If I replace negative 5 in for s, I'm going to have x minus negative 5, which is x plus 5. Okay? So what I have here, right, is the family, right? So it's the family with root, roots x equals 4 and x equals negative 5, right? So that's the equation of the family. Now notice that I don't know what a is, and that kind of makes sense. Because again, a tells us how... Uh, how Fat or skinny the problem is going to be, tells us if it opens up or down. And as I said before, we don't know those things yet, right? We know that, um, that it has roots at x equals 4 and x equals negative 5, but I have all sorts of quadratic functions that have those roots, okay? That, that uh, you know, some open up, some open down, some are skinny, some are fat, and so on. So that's why we don't know A, okay? So first step is to find the equation of the family like so. Now the second step Right? The second step is going to be to do the following. We're going to find the member of the family. So what do we mean by that? Well, we know that the family of quadratics has a specific equation, right? and we're looking for a very specific member of that family. All right? And the way that we're going to find that member is we're going to use that extra point that was given to us. So I think the point here was at 2, negative 42. So for example, um, Finding the equation of a quadratic is sort of like narrowing, or narrowing some, uh, somebody down to their family, right? So, you know, for, if it's for me, right, for example, if you wanted to find uh, me, Mr. James, right, you might narrow uh, your search down to the James family, right, the James family, and then you might look for, you know, someone who has, you know, a special feature that I have. So the idea is that the special feature of the parabola that we want is that it passes through the point to negative 42. So we're going to take our, uh, the equation of the family, right, which we found, y equals a times x minus 4 times x plus 5. And again, we know that this point, uh, or so this, the, the quadratic that we want has a point at 2, negative 42. So that's going to be the special feature that allows us to narrow down the, the quadratic function from the family. And to do that, we're going to notice that the point has an x value and a y value, and our equation has some x's and y's in them. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take this x value, and we're going to plug it into our x's in the equation. And we're going to take our y value, and we're going to plug it in for the y value in our equation. So let's see what happens when we do that. So let's see. We get negative 42 is equal to a times 2 minus 4 instead of x minus 4, and times 2 plus 5. Okay, now we can simplify a little bit. So negative 42 is equal to a times negative 2, because 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 2 plus 5 is 7, so we get times 7. Okay, and then we get negative 42 is equal to negative 14a, because negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. And then we divide both sides out by negative 14, and so we get 3 is equal to a. So now we know that 
that uh, the a value of the quadratic function we want is 3. That tells us a couple things, right? We know that the parabola that we were looking for opens up, for example, because it's positive 3. And we can tell just how, like, kind of fat or skinny it is because the value is 3, right? We know, uh, we know that it's going to be relatively skinny anyways, right, compared to a regular parabola. So uh, all we need to do now is write down the equation of our quadratic function. And that means subbing a back into the family. So we're going to have y is equal to 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5. And that is the, uh, the equation of our quadratic function. Take care, guys.